welcome once again to our third exercise exercise 3 in microsoft excel spreadsheet and we are requested or we are told that the finger below shows an extract from a spreadsheet program showing details of vehicles prepared by the secretary in a car company we use it to answer the questions that follow we are requested to open a spreadsheet program and we key in the information shown in the finger below as it appears and we save the workbook as budget so i'll proceed to the excel program i have already pinned the program so i just click on the excel program and then i type that particular information on the cells A1 to E12. So the first thing, once I have typed my work, I select all the work, then I go to borders, and then I choose all borders. Then I'll click on row one, I bold, I click on row one, then I bold all the titles. After bolding the titles, we, I will reduce the column width between C and D. I also reduce the column width between D and E. I also reduce the column width to between E and F. Then I click row 1 and I apply wrap text. The wrap text will allow us to make all the content visible within a cell by displaying it on multiple lines. So once we do that, once we do that, we will have increased the row height. So I click wrap text, and we have we have the lines visible in multiple lines. Then I can click on the top alignment. To make sure that all the titles are beginning from the top alignment so after that I'll go back to our question then uh, we get started with the questions so we are requ <coughs> requesting to copy the data of the sheet 1 to sheet 2 we copy the data of sheet 1 to sheet 2 so I'll go back to the application I click, I select the whole page by clicking above row 1, then I click copy. Once I do that, I click on sheet 2, then I click paste. So I have copied the information from sheet 1 to sheet 2. So let me zoom. So I have copied the information from the sheet 1 to sheet 2. Then we proceed to the next question which says we perform the following tasks to the details in sheet 2. 1. We insert two rows above row 2. We insert two rows above row 2. So I'll go back to the application. Then I click on row 2. I then click on insert I click on insert once again when you look up up here you can see that we have wrap text but it is not necessary for the row 2 so I unclick the wrap text then we proceed to the next question which says that we merge and send the cells A2 to E2 remember we have just inserted two rows above the row 2 and now we are requesting to merge and send uh, the cells A2 to E2. So we go back to the application. Then we highlight from A2 until E2. So select from A2 to E2. Then we click merge and sender. So once you click merge and sender, we are requesting to type the following text in the range that we have just uh, merged which is A2 to E2 so we type the following text which is 
motaka showroom so i'll go back to the application then i type that information motaka showroom so we type that motaka showroom so i'll space so you type that specific information under the cell a2 to to he2 which has just been matched so after that we will proceed to the next question which says using cell addresses only we compute the balance for each vehicle using cell addresses only we compute the balance for each vehicle so i'll go back to the excel spreadsheet program then we have the car prices and we have the amount and now the amount paid and now we are requesting to look for or to calculate for the balance remember the balance that we require here is we already have a fixed price for the car which is the car price and we have the amount that has been paid so for you to get the balance you just press the equal sign we can open the bracket then we click the car price then we minus by the amount that has been paid then we close the brackets and we press enter so once we press enter we are capable to get the balance of each particular car type so we have the car price and the amount paid and the balance is the car price or the fixed price minus the amount that has been paid for us to get the balance of each particular vehicle so after that you just click on that particular answer at the right side we have a small plus you just you can double click or you drag down once and once you do that you'll be able to get the balances of each particular vehicle so after getting the balance we will proceed to the next question which says that using the filter feature extract the vehicles which have a balance of above 200000 using the filter feature extract the vehicles which have a balance of above 200000 using the filter feature extract the vehicles which have a balance of above 200000 so i click the our we open our excel program then we have our balances highlighted so we proceed to sort and filter and since the question says that using the filter feature so we click filter then we come to our balances and we click the filter then we unclick the zero so that we may have the balances which of 200,000 shillings and above so we remain with the balances which have 200 and 200,000 and above so you will click any value which is less than that so that we may be able to only remain with the values which are more than 200,000 then we press okay so once you press okay you will realize that all the data has been filtered and we have only remained with the values which are more than 200000 after that we will proceed to the next question which says we create a 3d column chart on a new sheet showing the vehicle and the respective balance so we create a 3d column chart on a new sheet showing the vehicle and the respective balance then we label the chart appropriately so I'll go back to our program. I can go to sheet 1 because it is the one which has all the vehicles. I can simply run the calculation for the balance which was equals to the car price minus the amount paid. And then after that, I can drag down. So I'm going to create a 3D column chart that would be able to display the vehicles and the respective balances 
so what we need to do is we highlight the vehicles coming downwards then we long press the control and we select the balances of all the vehicles so you highlight the vehicles then you select the balance after that you click on insert you go to column chart we have 2d column chart and we have 3d column chart so we are requesting to insert a 3d column chart so you just press the first one after that we change the chart layout which you can choose this one it is the best layout to use layout 5 then we can go to the chart styles and you can choose any style of your choice so after that i'll right click on the chart i cut it since we are requesting to insert it on its own sheet then i press paste so once i do that i can move it to wherever place i need it to appear be there it is okay there so that is our 3d budget i can extend it so that it may be able to display properly so you can extend it the way you want that you may be able to see the vehicles and the respective balances for each particular vehicle so after that we go to the next question which says that save the changes to print out later whereby we have the sheet one sheet two and we have the chat sheet so i'll go back to the application then i rename the sheet three i rename it as so i rename the sheet three so after that we are done with our question i just click the save button to save this particular program so we were requested to save it as budget so you just open your particular folder then you save your work as budget so that is the end of our exercise three thanks so